and they are the indelible images that will forever be embedded in our memory. 10 years after the September 11th attacks, the vivid pictures and change in our lifestyle continue to haunt us today. But what about having lived through the horror on that fateful day? This South Florida man did. Luis Acevedo was on the 61st floor of Building 2 of the World Trade Center when the first plane hit early Tuesday morning. All of a sudden, the room goes dark. That day, the wind was blowing from the north and pushing the smoke and the debris south, and it wrapped around our building, and it was almost like closing up shades on that, that window. It was, I mean, it, it was uh, that beautiful day. It, it, it wasn't, wasn't there anymore. Lewis was one of the lucky ones who got out. He was in New York for training for Morgan Stanley, and because of their strict policy, they were asked to evacuate. It was very, you know, casual. People were just, you know, very comfortable and walking down the, walking stairs. Down the stairs. And then there was even a page over the intercom from the Port Authority that um, let everyone know that a small plane had hit Tower 1 and that, um, and that Tower 2 was safe with no immediate danger. And they actually said to return to your offices or stay where you were. He says he thinks about what happened every day, but one image is very clear. There was uh, a line of firefighters that were coming up the stairs as we were coming down. And you remember those faces of those firefighters? Yep. Did they say anything? No. They just looked like they had a job to do. On this 10th anniversary, Lewis decided to speak publicly for the first time to students at Matter Academy. We were struck by the second plane, about 20 stories above our heads. And that sent shockwaves through that building. I felt like that building was just going to collapse down. Today he speaks so that we never forget. Not everyone could have been as lucky as I, I was. And, um, and I do think about those people and their families, especially, especially you know, those kids that you know, didn't have a, a parent to come back to. You know? Lewis, who says his life is forever changed, is now married with two kids. He has gone back to New York, and believe it or not, he went when he was in the area for another training seminar for another company. Mm. An incredible story. Powerful indeed. Mm -hmm. Still to come here tonight on NBC Miami, we're going to continue to look back on this somber day. In